Well, Pascal Lamche is the director of the documentary Winnie, and she spent many years talking to Winnie Mandela in making that production. She joins us now. Winnie, in your opinion, what was the importance of the role that Winnie played in shaping South African politics? Her role was extremely important. I, I mean, I'm, I'm saddened by what I've just listened to in the evocation of her life. Um, I hope that people will watch my film. Um, that is the prevailing narrative, the one that your journalist just um, evoked. Uh, and I'm afraid the story is far more complex than that. And um, Winnie was in effect, taken, neutralized as a political figure in the public sphere in South Africa for a number of reasons, um, both from the apartheid side and even from the ANC side after um, democratic elections. Um, it's a complex story and one that deserves uh, greater attention than um, than, than what I've just listened to on, on your program, I'm, I'm afraid. Um, so Winnie, from the beginning, when, when Nelson was first um, imprisoned in 1964, she was the first person and the only person who was interviewed live on, on the BBC in 1964. She kept Nelson's name alive um, and the ANC underground in some kind of shape inside the country when it was mortally dangerous um, and the leadership had gone into exile or were in jail, in effect. She kept that struggle going and Nelson's name, which the apartheid government attempted to um, uh, scrub out entirely, alive not only within the country but also internationally. She herself uh, was imprisoned, was in solitary confinement, was then exiled. Uh, to uh, a barren wasteland far away from Johannesburg. She returned in 1985 at the height of the state of emergency when um, the last push of the apartheid government um, it, to maintain control of the country was being enforced very violently on the streets. Um, the, uh, she was a military leader of the underground ANC, the military wing of the ANC in Kontoe Seasway. And it was as that, as that military commander that she, um, that she acted. Um, and the football club, as was described in, in your program, was in fact a front, um, not for a private militia, but for the ANC's military wing, Umkonto West Seasway and the operations that they were leading inside the country at an incredibly violent time. She was also the person who was... Um, Nelson's eyes and ears on, on the ground and the conscience and the voice of the people inside the country. The other leaders were outside of the country and weren't fully aware of what was going down um, amongst the people on the ground. She was Pascal. also much closer to the youth. Yeah. Pascal, <laughs> unfortunately, was, we don't have... Yeah. Uh, too much time, time to but of, of course the, 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 it, she's a very complicated woman with a long uh, complicated history um, you made it very clear, here, clear very earlier that you feel that there's some aspects of uh, Winnie's life that are not um, focused upon, what do you think are the biggest public misconceptions about Winnie Mandela based on the time that you spent with her? Well, her daughter articulates it very well in the film, Zinzi Mandela. She says her father was, uh, became a saint and her mother became the sinner. It was a sort of simplified uh, black and white situation in which all the difficulties involved and all the violence involved in liberating the country were, were attached to the woman in the picture when in fact together they were an important political force and should have stayed together. And there were many forces that attempted and succeeded in separating them, in divorcing them and ensuring that she, who represented the left wing of the ANC, would be, would be silenced. And I think that was a great shame. Pascal Lamche, director of Winnie, thank you very much for speaking to us.